This short animated video explains the popular concept of CTQ that is critical to quality, which is one of the key Six Sigma tools. So what is this CTQ and why it is always talked about while producing a high quality product or service? So we will see all this in this particular video. So don't go anywhere else. Just sit back, relax and enjoy this video. CTQ which stands for critical to quality. It is a simple and a powerful tool which translates customer need into meaningful, measurable and actionable metrics. These measurable metrics will help us understand which steps in the process are value added as these are critical to quality which help us define the value. Now to understand the what is value added and non-value added we must first understand what the customer values are and who our customers are so that we can take the VOC and this VOC can come from either the internal customers or the external customers. So using this data, we will then determine the list of CTQ requirement. Now let us see the CTQ tree, how it help us determine the how we convert the customer needs, critical needs to the performance requirements. The first section that we have is the customer need, which talks about what. So every customers have need that can be expressed in a measurable terms as critical to quality. We must recognize that not all the CTQs are of equal importance when it comes to satisfying the end customer. Identifying the customer needs is critical or what are their pain points and it should not be based on what you think but actually what the customer requirement is. This is the actual product or service that you will deliver to the customer. Simply go and ask your customer what are your needs. So you can use the surveys, you can use the interviews or the Kano model. So the Kano model that we are talking about is basically organizes the customer CTQs into three categories. That is must be, some performance requirement and delighters. So it is best to define these needs into broad terms. So if you want to learn what is about more about this Kano model, you can check out this video on my YouTube channel. I will post the link in the description below. So this Kano model will help us ensure that you don't miss out anything which is important in the next step. And it will help you identify product features that will delight your customers. Next is to look at the quality drivers. So once the customer needs are identified, please identify the quality drivers. These drivers are the critical factors. It could be the fast delivery, the quality of food, competitive pricing, or what not. The most common tool that we use in this is the brainstorming tool. Remember these are the factors that must be present for the customer to think what you are delivering a high quality product. Don't rush this into. It is important that you identify all of the drivers that are important to your customer. So think from the customer's perspective not from the internal perspective. And lastly, but not the least, is the performance requirement, which is the final one. So in this case, you need to deliver the quality drivers or must satisfy for each quality driver in order to actually provide a quality product. This must be present to satisfy the quality driver, thus meeting the customer's requirement. So once you have completed a CTQ tree for each critical need, you will have a list of measurable requirements that you must meet to deliver a high quality product. Now imagine that you have been given a task by your friends to order pizza from your favorite restaurant for your friends. Now what will you do? How will you order this pizza for your friends? What all techniques you want to apply? How will you define your CTQs? What all drivers you're going to take into consideration in here and then finally what all are the CTQs that you will come up with. So this will determine how your user need is. You first need to define your what your user need is here and then come up with some drivers 
and then the final the critical to quality parameters now to make it easy we will do this exercise together and then let's see how we come up with some pretty cues so let's start our practical examples of ctq here now let us understand this concept of critical to quality with the help of some practical example let us assume that you visit a pizza shop all you want is to have an amazing experience and be a very satisfied customer customer says that he wants the best pizza customer only knows what he means by the best pizza this is their user need which is not easy to measure for us for this there will be some few drivers from from which we will come to from critical to quality parameters now to make things little bit easy for you let us first construct the ctq tree so we will list down all my critical need which is the best pizza here my drivers and ctq so my first driver would be the variety second would be the fast delivery and third would be the cost now for each of these uh, drivers you have to list down from critical to quality parameters you can also have multiple drivers instead of what three i have mentioned here this is just for the example purpose only now for each of these drivers we will list down ctqs for for variety we have veg and non veg category of pizza another ctq could be the 6 inch size and 12 inch size pizza for second driver fast delivery we have time that it should be delivered in less than 30 minutes and cost it should cost me less than 5 dollars so i mean for each driver you can have multiple ctqs you can have single ctqs it all depends upon how deep you want to go so these are some of the ctqs now my original need was best pizza which was very difficult to or hard to measure but now i have converted that need into something which is easy to measure that is the whole purpose of this ctq to translate the critical needs which is difficult to measure to the ctqs which you can easily measure and satisfy the end customer So that is all I have on this video if you like it click here to subscribe do hit the like button as well share this video with all your friends on different social media platforms and if you have any specific sessions or topic for my next video you can let me know in that comment section below and please let me know your thoughts as well on this particular video